What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Behind me you can see this CVO Road Glide and uh, it's got a pretty big build going on. So we've got a 131 cubic inch engine for it, uh, some ape hangers and a few other accessories as well. So a uh, bit of a trolley full of uh, goodies there. Uh, as you can see we've got it all torn down here, getting ready to do the bars. So we're going to drive straight into that guys and uh, get the engine done and then move straight onto the bars and then get this thing finished and out on the road. So stick around and check it out.
All right, she's uh, all ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to load the tune in from the uh, from last video, the uh, 131 uh, with the full sack header, same camshaft for that. So uh, this has just got a little bit different air cleaner, and obviously the header pipe's different. So I'll just take a little bit of uh, tweaking on the tune there, just to make sure it's all right. So it's just up on the dyno for that. Uh, and then I'm going to bring you guys with me out on the road for a test ride because I've actually got a uh, little handlebar mount now for the GoPro, so uh, I can bring you guys with me. So I'll just get this thing loaded in, uh, tweak the tune up a little bit, and then we'll go for a ride. It's all finished, uh, tuned up, so it's ready to go. We're gonna go out for a ride and uh, take you guys with me, but before we do that, just gonna take a look at the graph and show you guys uh, that there is a little bit of a difference between the last uh, street glide I did with this exact same engine kit. Uh, this one came in and finished up there at 132 horsepower and 147, nearly 148 foot-pounds of torque, but if I compare the uh, 131 with the full sack header pipe, you can see the difference there. It's lit, it's virtually the identical looking torque curve as it should be with the camshaft, but you can see with that air cleaner, the difference with the air cleaner and the exhaust system definitely has elevated that tune uh, substantially there. So it made 147 horsepower and 156 foot-pounds of torque. So quite a difference in uh, horsepower and torque, especially toward the top end of the tune there. So. Let's go for a ride and uh, see what it's like. Well guys, the test ride went well, the bike is running beautifully, I'm very happy with how it's performing and absolutely just stoked with how the thing looks. Take a look at that guys, that is just beautiful. The CBOs are just next level, like obviously the paint is the massive difference you, you see with the CBO but a lot of chrome now and another little thing with the uh, CBOs is the granite finish on the engine and uh, transmission cases so that's just next level and of course all your, your nice little features with all your switch blocks lighting up 
the uh, CBO badge in the center console here lights up. Heated grip set, like just accessories to the moon. Huge 21 inch front wheel on the front. Chrome fork leg, everything. Like the bike is just outstanding. It's straight, straight out of the box. Of course, the APANG has set it off as a little bit of a personal touch there for this customer. I'll just give you guys a quick look. I will just do a bit of a once over the bike, go through the accessories fitted and uh, take a quick look at the bike. So starting out, 131 cubic inch engine from Screaming Eagle with the Cyclerama CR512 camshaft. Up here, there's normally a 117 cubic inch uh, badge from um, factory. We can't have that with the 131 badge now fitted here, so we removed that and just put the uh, Screaming Eagle badge in there uh, just to you know tie that in. Fitted some highway pegs here to the uh, standard uh, crash bar, engine guard bar. Fitted some saddlebag protection bars around here. Of course, the A pangers. Fitted those. Uh, all these chrome controls, that's all factory, but uh, the apes on there as well. And uh, another little feature on this one, guys, is um, just under here. Some of you may or may not like this, but has some LED lighting in there as well. May not be everyone's cup of tea, but uh, you can actually um, you can actually adjust this on your phone so you can select exactly what colour you want, whether you want it just like flash, fast, flash, slow, fade through all the colours, all that sort of thing. So something a little personal there for the customer. Uh, yeah, so look, just a beautiful motorcycle, guys. The paint on the CBOs is outstanding, and the finish is just absolutely flawless. So very very happy with this bike guys i hope you guys are enjoying it as much as i love looking at it it's just outstanding well that's it for this video guys thank you very much for sticking around to the end and watching it i really had a great time building this motorcycle i hope you guys had a great time watching me do it and uh, i'm going to see you guys in another video really soon i'm going to be doing the high compression 131 cubic inch build with the uh, rocket cams 544 so i'm really excited about that one so guys if you haven't subscribed Click that button, turn the bell on, you guys know what to do, how to get your notifications and all that, and I'll see you guys in that one real soon.